Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Today, inshallah, we're going to solve Cambridge exam February March 2022, paper 42. Let's start. Question 1. This question is about the first 30 elements in the periodic table, so keep your periodic table in front of you before answering this question. Name the element which is 78% of the clean dry air. Nitrogen has the highest percentage in the clean dry air, which is 78%. Which element? Atoms with the electronic structure of 281. 2 plus 8 plus 1 equal to 11 means 11 electron because it's an atom, number of electrons equal to number of protons. So the element with 11 proton is sodium. The element extracted from hematite, hematite is the ore of iron. Which one form an oxide with a giant covalent structure? Giant covalent structure, which is oxide, is the oxide of silicon because diamond and graphite form it only from carbon. But silicon form a giant covalent structure with oxygen, silicon dioxide. Which one, which gas with the slowest rate of diffusion at room temperature? You know that the rate of diffusion is inversely proportional with the molecular mass. So the gas with the slowest rate of diffusion is a gas that having the higher, the highest molecular mass. Here we have all these gases present in the first 30 element in the periodic table. But remember that helium, nain, and argon are noble gases, so they are monoatomic. But all other gases are diatomic, so when you take the mass from the periodic table, you have to multiply it by 2. You will find that the gas that has the uh, highest molecular mass is chlorine, 35.5 multiplied by 2 is 71. So the highest molecular mass means the slowest rate of diffusion is chlorine. Which element form an hydrous chloride which turns pink when we add water to it? Cobalt is the element that form anhydrous cobalt 2 chloride is used for the test for the presence of water. It turns from blue to pink that indicates the presence of water. Which element has an aqueous ions which form a white precipitate when added to aqueous silver ions? Silver ions is used to test for halide ions, chloride, bromide, and iodide ions. The one that forms white precipitate with silver is chloride ions. Silver chloride is a white precipitate, so the element is chlorine. Which one forms a blue hydroxide which dissolves in aqueous ammonia? Copper. Copper ions, when react with ammonia, it forms a blue precipitate of copper hydroxide which dissolves in excess, so the element is copper. Which one is added to molten iron to remove impurities in the steel making process? We are removing impurities like carbon and uh, sulfur by converting them into carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide which can escape as uh, gases from the ferns. So we are adding oxygen to remove the impurities in the steel making process. Which element is used in galvanizing iron? Galvanization is a specific process of coating iron with zinc, so the answer is zinc. Question 2. A student add excess large pieces of magnesium carbonate to dilute hydrochloric acid and measure the volume of carbon dioxide gas given off. Add the missing state symbols to the chemical equation for the reaction. Magnesium carbonate, we know that all carbonates are insoluble except group 1 carbonates and ammonium carbonates, so magnesium carbonate is solid. Uh, HCl is an aqueous solution. Water is a liquid and of course carbon dioxide is a gas. Complete the dot and cross diagram to show the electronic arrangement of the ions in magnesium chloride. The inner shell has been done for you and give the charges of the ions. Magnesium is in group 2, so the electronic configuration of magnesium is 2A2. It formed positive ion by losing the two outer electrons, so now the inner shell becomes 8 electron only, and the charge is plus 2. For chlorine atom, the electronic configuration is 2A7. Each chlorine atom will accept one electron from magnesium, so it will have one negative charge and the electronic configuration of the chloride ion is 288. Remember to take the uh, electron number 8 from magnesium so it will have the same uh, symbol for the magnesium electrons. 
Complete the dot and cross diagram to show the electronic arrangement in a molecule of carbon dioxide. Show the outer electrons only. You know that carbon is in group 4. It has 4 outer electrons, so it needs another 4 to complete its outer shell to 8 electrons. So it will form double bond with this oxygen and another double bond with this oxygen here with 2 pairs of electrons forming the double bond here and here with the other oxygen. Now carbon has 8 outer electrons. Oxygen is in group 6. It has 6 outer electrons. It forms a double bond here with carbon. Now it has 8 outer electrons and this is the same for the second oxygen. Remember this question is for 2 mark. 1 mark for the correct double bond between the carbon and each of the oxygen atoms and the second mark is for the lone pairs of oxygen. The graph shows the volume of carbon dioxide gas change with time as we react in magnesium carbonate with dilute hydrochloric acid. This is the volume of carbon dioxide collected. Describe how the graph shows that the rate of reaction decreases as the time increases. As we can see from the graph, the slope of the curve or the gradient decreases by time. That indicates that the rate of reaction decreases by time. Explain in terms of particles why the rate of this reaction decreases as the time increase. By time increase, number of the reactant particles in the same volume decreases. So number of frequent successful collision will decrease and hence the rate of reaction will decrease. The student repeats the experiment using powdered magnesium carbonate instead of large pieces or large lumps. All other conditions stay the same. When we are using magnesium carbonate in a powdered form, that means we will increase the surface area of the reactant, and increasing the surface area will increase the rate of reaction. So on the grid, draw the expected curve when the powdered magnesium carbonate is used instead of the large pieces. Increasing rate of reaction means the curve will have a higher slope. Higher slope means closer to the y-axis, so we will draw the second line here closer to the y-axis but remember that the curve will end with the same volume of carbon dioxide gas because the amount of HCl is the same in both experiment so HCl is a limiting reagent after the limiting reagent finish no more reaction so no more carbon dioxide produced even we have excess magnesium carbonate so the volume of carbon dioxide will be the same the curve two curves will be ending together as a plateau with the same value. And don't forget to label your curve. Question D. Determine the volume of carbon dioxide gas given off when excess magnesium carbonate is added to 25 centimeter cube, 0.4 mole per decimeter cube HCl at room temperature and pressure. Here we have excess magnesium carbonate react with HCl at room temperature and pressure. First, calculate the number of moles of HCl. Number of moles for HCl is the concentration multiplied by the volume. But remember, we have to convert the volume in decimeter first. So we will divide 25 by 1000 to convert it into decimeter cube, then multiply by the concentration, which is 0.4. The answer will be 0.01 mole. Then, number of moles of carbon dioxide given off. Here, the ratio to number of moles of HCl to carbon dioxide is 2 to 1. So, number of moles of carbon dioxide is half that of HCl. We will divide this by 2. The answer is 0 0.005 moles. This is the number of moles of carbon dioxide. Then, we want to calculate the volume of carbon dioxide gas given off. Number of moles of carbon dioxide equal to the volume of carbon dioxide divide the molar volume, which is 24. So the volume of carbon dioxide will be number of moles multiplied by 24 equal to 0.12 decimeter cube multiplied by 1000 to convert it into centimeter because he won the answer in centimeter cube. So it will be 120 centimeter cube. Question 3. Nitrogen dioxide is atmospheric pollutant and it's formed in the car engine. 
explain how nitrogen dioxide is formed in the car engine. Due to the high temperature inside the car engine, nitrogen and oxygen in the air react together to form nitrogen dioxide. Nitrogen dioxide causes respiratory problem. State one other adverse effect of nitrogen dioxide. Nitrogen dioxide is also contribute in the formation of acid rain, which causes corrosion of buildings and damage, damage of soil and plant. C. Nitrogen dioxide emissions can be reduced by adding aqueous solution of urea to the car exhaust gases. The heat of the exhaust gases breaks down the urea into simpler substance. Name the type of reaction in which a substance is heated to break down into a simpler substance. Breaking down of a substance by heat is called thermal decomposition. The type of reaction is thermal decomposition. One mole of urea breaks down to form one molecule of ammonia and other molecule. Complete the chemical equation to show the formula of the other molecule formed. Here, this is the structure of urea and one molecule of ammonia is formed. So we only have one atom of nitrogen and three atoms of hydrogen. Starting count, for, uh, the number of nitrogen in the urea, we have two nitrogen and multiply by two. So we still have one nitrogen left. Then number of hydrogen, four hydrogens. Here we have three, so we still have one hydrogen and the CO also will present in the other compound form. How to arrange this atom, H, N, C, O? You know that N can form three bonds, so it will form double bond with carbon, and the third bond will be with hydrogen. Carbon can form four bonds. It will form double bond with nitrogen and double bond with oxygen. So the arrangement will be H, N, C, O, and this is the compound will be formed with the ammonia by breaking down of urea. State the test for ammonia. Test for ammonia is a damp red litmus paper. Of course, ammonia is a base, so it will convert the red litmus paper to blue. The answer, the observation is it turns to blue. Ammonia, the ammonia form it react with nitrogen dioxide to form nitrogen and water. Here is the equation. You just need to balance this equation. Here we have 12 molecules of water formed. So we can know the number of hydrogen atoms. 12 by 2 is 24. And for oxygen, it is 12. So starting balance here, giving 24 hydrogen by multiplying 3 by 8. 8 by 3 is 24. So now we balance hydrogen. After that, we want to balance oxygen. We have 12 oxygen. So we have to multiply this 2 by 6. Now. 6 by 2 is 12. Correctly balanced for uh, number of oxygen atom and number of hydrogen, we still have nitrogen. 6 nitrogen plus 8 nitrogen is 14. So 7 multiplied by 2 is 14. This is the correct balance for the equation. State how the equation shows that the nitrogen in the nitrogen dioxide is reduced. Your Observation should be from the equation how this nitrogen is reduced, nitrogen in the nitrogen dioxide. It can be easily shown from the equation that this nitrogen loses its oxygen, so it is reduced. The equation shows that the nitrogen in the nitrogen dioxide loses oxygen. This reaction is a redox reaction. State the meaning of the term redox. Redox reaction is a reaction involving both reduction and oxidation. Question E. 135 moles of urea is stored in the tank of a car. Calculate the mass in kilogram of the stored urea. 135 is the number of moles. So the equation is number of moles equal to the mass divide the molecular mass. We will calculate the molecular mass of urea. It will be 16 multiplied by 2, which is 16 is 14 for nitrogen and 2 for hydrogen. This is a 16 multiplied by 2. Then 12 for carbon and 16 for oxygen. The mass will be 60. So number of moles equal to the mass, which is unknown, divided by 60. To know the mass, we will multiply 135 by 60. The answer will be 8,100 grams. 
then we have to convert it into kilograms by divided by 1000 so it will be 8.1 kilograms another oxide of nitrogen formed in the car engine is nitrogen monoxide in the catalytic converter nitrogen monoxide is removed by reacting with a gas formed by incomplete combustion of the fuel the two non-toxic gases are formed okay the gas that is formed by incomplete combustion of fuel is carbon monoxide so when nitrogen monoxide react with carbon monoxide they form two non-toxic gases name the gas formed from the incomplete combustion of a fuel the gas is carbon monoxide and have to write the name not the formula because he wants the name then two non-toxic gases is formed the function of the catalytic converter is to convert the toxic gas like nitrogen monoxide and carbon monoxide into harmless or normal gases present in the air so nitrogen monoxide is converted to nitrogen and carbon monoxide is converted to carbon dioxide question four this question is about a chemical reaction and electricity the diagram shows the apparatus used in the production of electrical energy in a sample cell as we can see we have two electrodes the left one is zinc electrode and the right one is iron electrode zinc electrode dissolve in the electrolyte forming zinc plus two ions draw an arrow on the diagram to show the direction of electron as zinc electrode forming zinc plus two ion it loses two electrons and these two electrons goes in the outer circuit through the wire from zinc to iron so we can see the direction of electron as shown here by the red arrows Write the ionic half equation for the reaction that occur when zinc electrode dissolve. Zinc metal forming zinc plus two ions and two electrons. The reading on the voltmeter can be increased if either zinc or iron is replaced by another metal. The reading of the voltmeter can be increased by increasing the reactivity distance between the two metals as the two metals far apart from each other in the reactivity series the reading will be higher so we can increase the reading of the voltmeter by using a metal which is more reactive than zinc to increase the distance between zinc and iron or use another metal which is less reactive replace the iron with the metal that is less reactive than iron so now also the reactivity distance between the two metals increase and the reading of the voltmeter increase so we can use a metal instead of zinc Name a metal that can replace zinc to increase the reading. It's a metal more reactive than zinc, like magnesium. Name a metal that can replace iron to increase the reading of the voltmeter. We can replace it by a less reactive metal, like copper. Fuel cells are used to generate electricity. Name the reactant in the fuel cell. The reactant in the fuel cell is only hydrogen and oxygen. They react together to give only one waste product, which is water name the waste product formed it is water electricity can be used to break down aqueous or molten ionic compound name the process which use electricity to break down aqueous or molten compound the process is electrolysis explain why ionic compound need to be aqueous or molten because in case of aqueous and molten the ions are free to move and they can conduct the current so the reason is because the ions can move freely in case of aqueous or molten solution brine is a concentrated aqueous sodium chloride name three substances formed when passing electricity through brine solution passing electricity through brine solution we have sodium ions hydrogen ions chloride ions and hydroxide ions at the positive electrode because hydrogen is less reactive than sodium so hydrogen gas formed at the cathode and because we have high concentration of sodium chloride so chloride ions present in enough concentration and chlorine gas will be discharged at the anode and the ions we left in the solution will be sodium ions and hydroxide ions forming sodium hydroxide in the uh, electrolyte will change into sodium hydroxide these are the three substances formed when electrolyte uh, when we are making electrolysis for brine solution name a different substance formed when we have molten sodium chloride instead of concentrated aqueous sodium chloride 
here in molten sodium chloride we have only sodium ions and chloride ions so at thick sode sodium ion will discharge to form sodium metal so a different substance will form is sodium at thick sode question five this question is about alkane and alkenes short chain alkane and alkene can be formed from long chain alkene in a chemical reaction Name the type of chemical reaction which forms a short chain alkene and alkene from long chain alkene. The chemical reaction is cracking in which we break the long chain alkene to form short chain alkene and alkene. The answer is cracking. Here we have another a second question. Decane has 10 carbon atoms. When we crack decane, it forms ethane and ethene as only products in this chemical reaction. Write the chemical equation for the reaction. First, we will write the formula for decane. Decane has 10 carbon atoms and it's alkane. So number of hydrogen atoms will be 22 because the formula of alkane is Cn H 2 n plus 2. Now it is by cracking it forms only two products, ethane and ethene. So the formula for ethane C2H6 and for ethene C2H4. This the only two products formed. Now we need to balance this equation to know how many molecules of ethane and how many molecules of ethene is formed. It just needs some trial and error to figure, figure that we will have four molecules of ethene and one molecule of ethane. Because if you uh, try like three and two, three plus two is six and two multiplied by two is four. So we will have 10 carbons but number of hydrogen will not be correct, then you can reverse with three here and two here. It will not be correct unless you use four for ethene and one molecule for ethane. Ethane reacts with chlorine at room temperature to form chloroethane and other product. Ethane is an alkane. Alkane react with chlorine in a substitution reaction. One of the hydrogen substituted with chlorine, as we can see, one hydrogen removed from the ethane and substituted with chlorine. So the other product formed is hydrogen chloride. State the condition needed for this reaction. Substitution reaction of alkane needs ultraviolet light. Ethene react with chlorine at room temperature to form dichloroethene. Here ethene is an alkene. It, is, it, uh, it has double bonds, so the reaction here is an addition reaction. It is not substitution like in case of alkane. State why it is addition reaction. It is addition reaction because we have only one product is formed, which is dichloroethene. The chemical equation for the reaction can be represented as shown. The energy change for the reaction is minus 180 kilojoule per mole. Use the bond energy in the table to calculate the bond energy for CCL bond in kilojoule per mole. Here he gave you the energy for CH bond, C double bond C, CL, CL, and CC bond. First, we have to calculate the energy needed to break the bond. Take care that here only the C double bond C breaks and the chlorine chlorine bond breaks. Don't involve in your calculation CH bond because these four bonds will not break. Only the double bond will break, then chlorine atom will be added on each carbon. So no need to add the value of the CH in your calculation. The first bond, the only bond that will break is the double bond and the bond between the chlorine atoms in the chlorine molecule. Here we have uh, the energy for the carbon-carbon double bond is 610 and for chlorine-chlorine is 240. The total energy needed to break the bonds is 850 kilojoules. Use your answer in step one and the energy change for the reaction to determine the energy released when one bond is are formed delta h for the reaction is one one minus uh, minus 180 energy 
needed to break the bond minus energy needed in bond forming here we have our answer in step one energy needed to break the bond is 850 so we need to calculate the energy forming released when forming the bonds e2 it is just a simple calculation will be 1030 1030 energy released when bond forming this value 1030 is for the bond formation how many bond formed we have carbon carbon single bond formed and two carbon chlorine bonds formed this is the new bond formed because carbon hydrogen bond didn't break from the beginning and we didn't add it we didn't add it in the cal our calculation in the bond breaking so we will not add it here in the uh, bond forming so this value 1030 is for carbon single bond carbon bond and two carbon chlorine bond we have this value here for carbon it's 350 now we have the value for uh, carbon chlorine bond two carbon chlorine bond is 680 so one bond will be 340 kilojoule per more we will divide 680 by 2 to get one bond only carbon chlorine bond which is 340 kilojoule per mole question 6 the names of four esters are listed methyl propanoate ethyl propanoate bromyl propanoate and butyl propanoate esters are family of organic compounds with similar chemical properties they can be represented by the formula cnh2no2 state the name given for a family of organic compounds with similar chemical properties the, fa the name given to this any family of organic compound is homologous series explain why members of the organic compound having the same chemical properties any organic compound family having the same chemical properties because they have the same function group all alcohol having hydroxyl group which react with the same way so they all have the same chemical properties all carboxylic acid having the same carboxylic group so they react similarly because the same function group is present and so on state the name given to the formula such as cnh2no this is the general formula determine the value of n in butyl propanoate n is the number of carbon atom we have four carbon atom in the butyl group and three carbon atom in the propanoate so the total number of n will be seven all the four esters in the list are liquid at room temperature. Name the technique used to separate ethyl propanoate from the mixture of the four esters. All the esters are liquid at room temperature and they are miscible. So the technique is used to uh, separate a liquid from a mixture of other miscible liquids is fractional distillation. All the four esters can be made by reacting different alcohol with the same substance. Name the substance and draw the structure showing all the atoms and all the bonds. As you can see here from the structure, the alcohol part change, methyl, ethyl, propyl, butyl, but the acid part is the same, propanoate. This comes from the propanoic acid. So the name of the substance is propanoic acid. To draw the structure, propanoic acid has three carbons, one of which is the carboxylic group, so this is the first carbon this is the second carbon and this is the third carbon then we make sure that each carbon is surrounded by four bones then we add here three hydrogen two hydrogen and here is the carboxylic group name the alcohol used to make methyl propanoate the alcohol is used here is of course is methanol other esters not in the list, have the same molecular formula as propyl propanoate, but different structure. State the term used to describe substances that have the same molecular formula but different structure. The term, of course, is isomers. Name two esters with the same molecular formula as propyl propanoate. For the ester to have the same molecular formula, it should have the same number of carbons. Here we have three carbon in the propyl and three carbon for the propanoate so we have six carbons we can choose another two esters with six carbon so we can instead of three plus three we can make it two plus four 
4 plus 2, 1 plus 5, or 5 plus 1. I chose the first one. 2 is for ethyl, and 4 is for butanoate. So the first ester is ethyl butanoate. Ethyl has two carbon, butanoate has four carbons. The second one, 4 for the alcohol part, so it will be butyl, and 2 for the acid part, it will be ethanoate. So the two esters are ethyl butanoate or butyl ethanoate. We can choose the other option, which is 1 for the alcohol part, it will be methyl, and 5 for the acid part, it will be bentanoate. This is the third option. The, fifth, the fourth one, which is 5 for the alcohol part, so it will be bentyl, and 1 for the acid part, but, um, uh, methanoate. So we can say bentyl methanoate or methyl bentanoate. Polyesters can be made from two different molecules. As we can see, the first molecule has two carboxylic groups, one from each side, and the second molecule has one hydroxyl, hydroxyl, uh, hydroxyl group from each side. Complete the diagram to show a section of a polyester made from these two molecules, including all the atoms and all the bones. Here, a polyester formed by condensation of these two uh, monomers by removing one molecule of water. So we will remove the OH here and the H from the alcohol and adding these two molecules together starting from the first one here, the white block. You have to make sure that this is surrounded by O from each side and correctly draw the ester linkage between the two blocks. Remember also that the dark block has CO from each side. Continue the order and don't forget to leave one bond uh, open from both sides. Here the question is for three mark. One mark for correct ester linkage, the second mark is for correct order, and the third mark for continuation you have to leave one bond open from each side. Name the type of polymerization takes place when this polymer is formed. As we said, it's condensation polymerization. And the name of the polyester that is in your, uh, in your syllabus is trilene. Now we come to the end of our exam. Comment down below if you have any question. Like the video and subscribe uh, to the channel to receive all the updates. Thank you for watching. Wish you all best of luck.